Hello there, this is Sam with Jams and Bros, and today we're going to be looking at a little creation I've made using, you know, not that many parts, but I think it's still an okay creation. And it's a little scene with some American Marines preparing for battle. So yeah, ignore anything else around this 32 by 32 base plate. We've got a bit of a construction zone here. I'm actually reconstructing the city. And of course, watch out for the finger as well. Ah, I'm just messing with you guys. And I do have a cold, so yeah, probably not the best time to be recording videos, but hey, whatever. So yeah, the only American Marines in this uh, in this scene are ones that came with a Lego compatible battle pack that I recently received. So let's take a look. So what we have here is just a bunch of stuff. I guess we can take a look at the minifigures. There is just a soldier there with a Thompson about to grab a bazooka there and it's got some ammunition sitting inside one of those crates. Mind you, all the weapons in here are from that LEGO compatible set. Basically all of which are just about brick arps quality. So over here we have the Thompson machine gunner, or sorry, that's not a Thompson, that's a Browning, rather. The Thompson's the one this guy's holding. It's a handheld submachine gun. <laughs> one thing that I can't really get over with these minifigures is some of the heads they use. But hey, I mean, it, I guess it's better than just heads without printing, that'd kind of suck. And then just some ammunition clips in there. Those are actual brick arms. As are these grenades. Actually, no, these grenades came with the pack, now that I think of it. Yeah, I do have some Brick Arms grenades, but I used only non-Brick Arms ones for this one, actually. And we have some sort of, like, anti-aircraft gun here. Pretty interesting. And then another crate. And then the general, I suppose. He's got kind of a poorly designed revolver, honestly. Some binoculars. These torsos are really nice. I'm thinking about doing some little classified project with them that I will not talk about yet. We'll save that for the future. And then here we have the sergeant running past with a grenade and his M1 carbine. A couple of mortars there. Some bolt action rifles in that crate. There were no M1 Garands, ironically, that came with the set. Just these... K98 looking bolt action rifles, which I suppose is okay. And then some spades in there for trench digging. Another machine gun. That came with the German battle pack. And then an M1A1 carbine in there. It's got the wire stock instead of the full wooden stock. And then just a brick wall there. And. And I guess just another soldier with a Thompson machine gun. Nearly said Browning there. Always confusing those two nowadays, I'm not sure why. And then just some artillery shells in those crates over there. Let's see, and here we have brick arms, combat knives. Oh wait, these are not brick arms. Goodness me, it's been a while since I've built this actually, so I can't remember what's where. Those came with the pack. I suppose these machetes came with the pack as well. Whoops, wrong crate. Don't mind the mess in here. Don't mind the finger. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just reminded of my little gimmick whenever I do it on accident. And then we have the sniper. He's got a garrison cap, so I decided to make him a sniper. I would rather they replaced the garrison cap with a steel pot helmet. But again, whatever, there's nothing I can do about it. I didn't quite use all my foliage pieces in this mock. I used only the ones that were this exact shade of like medium green. I didn't feel like using any of the other pieces. It was already cramped enough as it is. And there are some just sandbags throughout the area. There's a watchdog. You know, some barbed wire. And I suppose that's the overview of it. Uh, I guess like the video if you've enjoyed it. That's always great. I'm always looking for that kind of support. If you must dislike the video, hey, it'll, uh, it's a long story. It kind of seems to help with the YouTube algorithms. Don't ask me how. 
Either way, I would much rather they liked it and gave some well-desired, let's say much-desired support. And until next time, this is Sam of Gems Bros signing off. Stay classy.